And I guess that's leading into a side question that I had whilst you were talking about that is I see some of the same issues that you guys have that, that I have is around that everybody wants to know how many leads you've generated from the work that you've just done. And yet a lot of marketing and certainly SEO, brand building, personal branding, it's a long term game and it's all not always directly attributable. So how are you guys handling those conversations with clients? Is that still a tough talk for you guys as well? It is. And we have to meet in the middle because they still have a board and they still have CMOs and VPs to answer to. And so the easiest thing for them to show progress on is lead volume. Whether those leads are leading to revenue or not, that's the conversation that they then have to have internally. And what we set the conversation up as of yes to leads and we can help you get those. And you need to do these other things to support that system Otherwise, it's going to dry up really fast or it's not going to happen fast enough. You're going to be frustrated that like you don't have leads like yesterday. So it's a yes and conversation and you can't just go after leads. If you want to just go after leads, then go sign up for content syndication all day. The leads will be incredibly cold. You'll have to do a ton of nurture to get them to where you want to go. But if leads are all that matter at the end of the day, your money is better spent over there. Absolutely. I always tell people to build it before you need it. I see so many CEOs, especially tech, they've got... They've come from that industry. They've built a product that they would have wanted when they were on the other side of the desk. If I build it, they will come. And they sell it to their network when it's in pilot stage and it's still a bit, doesn't quite work the way it should do. And so you get a really low conversion rate from their immediate network that probably should be the longer term customers. And then all of a sudden that dries up and mm-hmm. I then get the phone calls and I'm sure you get them as well as, the pipeline's dead. How do we? How many leads can we get in 30 days? I'm like, none, none. Mm-hmm. And you can come back in 30 mm-hmm. more days and I'll tell you the same answer. And another 30 days, I'll tell you the same answer. You've got to build it six months before you need it. But I understand at the same time, it's super hard. It's like being on a diet, right? If dieting was easy, everybody would have the body shape that they want to have. Everybody would look the way they would ideally like to look. The fact of the matter is it's hard because you've got to put the results in even when you're not seeing the outputs directly day by day. And it's the little things that matter, the little things that that sounds like what you guys are doing. It's just chipping away at that 1% of their brand and building them until you start to get the consistent outputs back. I would agree with you because I think it's important what you're saying because there's so many times you have startups who show up and they're like, I have a thing to sell and I want to sell it now. And to your point, it's that leads conversation that that initially starts down to then the revenue. And so... If you have a product that's in beta, if you can start to your point, those foundational elements, especially in SEO, like you don't have to start spending money, but you can get the SEO dialed in so that to your point, then when you do start spending, then yes, it will still probably take 30, 60 days, but it'll happen. You'll have, you just have to kind of fill the top and then it'll flow down, but get those, get your email situated, get your SEO grounded. You could pay, maybe do a little bit of paid just to start getting some of those beta testers in and see where your keywords are following and see where your users are. But don't wait to your point. Don't wait till you have the thing. Like start as soon as humanly possible yeah. to start marketing it. Cause yeah, it does. It takes, it is not a faucet. Everybody has this notion that digital advertising is a faucet. You just turn it on when you need it and turn it off when you're done. And it's, no, not anymore. Nope. But it's easy to assume that because (laughs) it looks that way from the outside. When you see successful founders who are really good at building their brand on social media, it seems that way. But that's the same as being a great footballer or an athlete of some sort. They make it look easy. But what you don't see is the 10,000 hours of practice they put in before that point to get to where they are. And everybody just assumes, oh, they were born with it. They've got natural talent. And yeah, genetics and talent do have do play into it, but absolutely the practice that gets there. So 100%. And then I guess one last thing, Kerry, is what's one thing that if you could just wear the magic wand, you would stop all of your clients or the people who come to your door that, that aren't a fit for you even like from doing with their marketing today? 